Hi guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Rinu Garajaram and I'm here today with a makeup video. So guys, I have bought a lot of makeup as well as skincare in the past month. Um, but I will start with the products from Ordinary. The two serums that I picked up are the Niacinamide and the Caffeine Solution. These two. And the Niacinamide is supposed to be really good for um acne scars this product is supposed to be really good for acne scars and um it will help lighten them up ordinary comes of course in a bottle like this and it is a very liquidy formula and this is a caffeine solution so this one is supposed to help with the under eyes and if you have some hyperpigmentation underneath the eyes this should help reduce it but yeah that is my second purchase from the ordinary then i directly want to go into the palace choice bha liquid i have heard so much good about this it's a bit more on the expensive side i think it's around 40 euros um but this is a liquid exfoliant so reduce the texture that you have on your skin uh, i think also with the blemishes and the um, acne scars this is a true magic elixir that's what i heard and i did my research about this one and people are raving so much about it so i wanted to try it out for myself and this one i just started two days ago so so the website that i bought the products on here in the netherlands are from douglas a part of my order was from douglas and another part of my order was from cold beauty and they share a lot of american brands uh, that are less easy to find here nowadays Douglas has a lot and it surprised me because I found elf cosmetics on their website um, which is of course a American drugstore brand so I wanted to try it out for myself and I purchased let me see I purchased four products from elf cosmetics um, majority of the makeup artists that I've been following for years are from the US and sometimes I see e.l.f. cosmetics popping up in their videos and when I saw it in the Douglas I was really excited to try it out so I bought two little eyeshadow palettes and a fun fact that I did not know about is that e.l.f. cosmetic is vegan and cruelty free so these are the two palettes that I bought um, this one is in cream and sugar and this one is in very bad so this is the very bad palette beautiful beautiful colors and this is the cookies and i want to say cookies and cream this is the cream and sugar palette i swatched them already and the colors on these they are amazing i have um a few palettes from huda beauty uh, morphe anastasia but these ones they are so pigmented i did not expect that high quality pigmentation on these here in the netherlands our drugstore version of elf is of course essence um, but i feel like that the quality on the essence eyeshadows are not as great as these ones so this really surprised me and they are so cheap i think four to six euros i don't know the exact price of them but they are marked the same as essences so the next product that i bought a eyebrow pencil so this is called the instant lift brow pencil it has a spoolie on one side and it's quite a, a nice quality spoolie um and on the other side you have the pencil and something that i found out a bit later when i already used it once is that the product itself was loose in the pan so it's kind of frustrating because it will fall out every time i use it and if i open the cap upside down it will just fall out so the next and the last product from elf is this cute little eyeshadow glittery goodness and it's in the color flirty birdie it is gorgeous guys when i was in the us a few years ago i bought this from i'm not sure what the name of it is but i think but they look exactly like this it was really expensive i think one full size of the other one was like 30 dollars 
yes so i explained about the glittery eyeshadow and it's beautiful to give your look just a little bit of extra glam this brand came out i saw a lot of people trying the their makeup and i think it is a very um these are very natural products which give you that very basic glowy look which i used today because i wanted to go in for a bit more natural um look so i used this cream cheek blush in the color rose pink it is such a pretty mauve color um, I would recommend it if you have oily skin though and your skin is really textured you have a lot of acne this is not for you and my skin is still work in progress it's not great either um, but it's a lot better than a while ago when I had a lot of acne I might make a video in the future on it because I was suffering from really bad acne that just flared up out of nowhere so then the next product from honest beauty is this magic beauty balm stick you can basically use this for everything it's a simple balm tiny glitters in it and it's not too glittery though when you use this underneath your actual highlight it'll make your highlight pop even more okay guys so the next three products that i purchased are and these so i finished them a while back and it was time to repurchase them so the first is the precisely yes precisely my brow pencil from benefit and this is the pencil i have used this in the past i did really enjoy it because you can make really natural strokes and it is a gorgeous pencil so the tip on this is really fine it's really nice to use and has a spoolie on the other side you can see the difference in the tip size the benefit precisely my brow so you can see how fine the tip actually is uh, which creates the illusion of those tiny hair strokes that is definitely a recommendation from my side okay so this next product is a repurchase this is my holy krill lip balm it's from fresh cosmetics um, but this gives you the softest soft lips it moisturizes a lot i have finished it the last last little bit is left in here uh, and this was in the lip caramel flavor or scent however you want to call it like a sugary heaven if you can get your hands on this caramel one it's the best of them all um but when i was on cold beauty i finally found it again uh and it retailed for 17 euros so it's a bit more of an expensive lip balm um but when you use it i can promise you you don't want anything else you need a little 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 tiny bit of this product not a lot and it will last you a really long time and yeah it hydrates and smooths the lips out so by explaining this product that i finished i want to introduce you to my new fresh lip balm i looked on the website and all the flavors and scents were there but the only one finished was of course the caramel one i chose the peach flavor scents it has a little bit of a lighter shade of packaging because the product is also a bit more light this is it i have tried it out once and it's still as smooth as the caramel one it smells so good guys okay so the next few products are from nars and this one the first product that i bought from nars is also one that i finished um, in the past it's the nars radiant creamy concealer and i'm in the color ginger i think yeah medium to ginger it is a beautiful daily concealer not too thick really creamy um yeah just overall a basic but good concealer because of the packaging i for a second thought it was the same brand but of course it's not this is from anastasia beverly hills in the um pomade the deep brow pomade i have gone through already two tubes of these of the color ebony this is also the color that i had in the past so the next two things are from nars so i bought the sheer glow foundation in the color stromboli it is a gorgeous 
um, sheer foundation you don't need a lot of it it will cover your face really easily i think it hydrates the face at the same time it gives a beautiful coverage so the next product which i have never had before is a liquid blush and this is in the color orgasm i think yeah it's in their popular shade which is usually in a solid form but i wanted to try out the liquid blush formula this is a nice product to have it gives you that little flash of color i must say this is a lot of product this when i tried it out it's so pigmented it is quite liquidy i think you can hear it um it comes with a pump and oh my goodness guys this sheer glow foundation it does not come with a pump so on to the last three products one of these is not a makeup item it is tweezer man i already have one of these and they are amazing i gave it to my mom because it is so precise while you when you're plucking your eyebrows it is super precise here it is take it out of the packaging oh. So these are my new tweezers, really cute, uh, really easy to use, not too big, very perfect to grab onto those hairs and pull them out. And it comes with a little protective plastic so you can put your tweezers in your makeup bag okay guys so now the last but not the least the very last product of them all is this beautiful beautiful bronzer and this product it is so gorgeous the packaging of it oh i love it all it's a bit more on the warm undertone side which i'm not 100 percent sure it fits my skin tone perfectly it comes in this gorgeous 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 rose gold packaging look at that i am such a sucker for packaging Ugh. oh dutch came out you get a beautiful mirror on one side and a really big pan of a bronzy color i'm in the color 3 then this is the color i will swatch this right here you can see it is really warm um, but great to warm up the face and yeah here you go that's the color like that but it's also really easy to blend out if you apply it with a bronzy bronzer brush so yeah guys those are all the products that i purchased in the last few weeks two months and yeah i really wanted to share them with you so yeah that was it for this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you in my next one so until then stay very very 